Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, the title of this whole series is going to be Before You Buy That Course, Watch These Videos. So, you hear about a lot of these people talking about Amazon Automation and Amazon FBA. And we're actually going to walk through this for free on the channel. You don't have to pay me anything. We're just going to try everything out. Um, how you get products and how you get products loaded. Where you can find products, uh, where you can shop for products, where you can get some from uh, distributors or wholesalers. So be this is called Before You Buy That Course. We're going to do the Amazon one first, and then we're going to do uh, Shopify and Forex and then uh, affiliate marketing. So everybody should know how to get to Amazon. If you get to Amazon, you go to Amazon Prime or the Amazon actual uh front page you go all the way down these are some of the things I bought but you go all the way down and it says sell on Amazon so you're gonna want to click that become an Amazon seller you can sign up now I did my sign up already but the logistics of the sign up is you gotta do a two process uh, verification so a phone number and then also an email you have to set up a address, a phone number, and also a, a credit card, or a credit card or some type of form of payment. So I'm going to go actually go into there, and so you can actually see how it looks. Because Amazon actually has a course inside of FBA where a lot of these people are are pulling from and trying to teach you and sell you for thousands and thousands of dollars. I want to uh, actually go through this, and we're actually going to redo mine. I haven't sold on Amazon in roughly maybe about three or four months because of the uh, because of the pandemic and stuff. So, uh, so in the last thirty, like I said, in the last thirty days. Now, FBA they've been selling stuff for me, but I haven't been sending anything in. So. When you go to set your account up, your account info is here. I'm not going to show you my account info uh, for obvious reasons. I don't want you guys to see where I'm, I'm at or my credit card information. Which to, in order for you to sign it up, uh, set it up, you can set it up there. You also can brand yourself. Uh, you see where it says J O uh, deals and such. You can actually go through the uh, webinars. That's actually on uh, Amazon, and it can show you how to brand yourself. I'm not going to show you all that stuff because that actually has my personal information. But you can set up also your shipping uh, settings, where you can just have it come from one Amazon fulfillment place, or you can have it go through all different fulfillment places. It might ask and charge you a little bit more, but I say leave it as a general. Amazon fulfillment uh, location that way uh, some of your items won't get rejected so you can go to catalog you can add products here so if some of the ways I'm going to show you how to add products um, you actually can go in there and just uh, add products there's a seller application so some of these things are gated where you can't sell right away Unless you have some type of uh, warehouse or some type of wholesale uh, receipt, or you sold this amount of products in a, a certain category, you can get ungated. Inventory. So inventory is manage inventory is when you already have all your inventory. FBA inventory. So if the ones you sent to Amazon, and then there's uh. Fulfillment by merchant where you can send in your own product from your own house uh, Again add a product add a product via yeah, upload so go globally That's a little bit taxing guys uh, unless you do an FBA. I would uh, Stay away from uh, global sales because then you get into different types of things where you can order something and then Actually the product 
the send it overseas or send it somewhere is actually more than the value of the product. So, and you can upload managed videos. Now, that's a new uh, section. They just added that a couple years ago where you can actually have videos of your actual product. So, say you make a certain product at home or you have a certain product that comes from uh, Alibaba or wherever. You can actually add videos on demonstration videos on your products. Uh, pricing, pricing health, uh, fixing pricing alerts, uh, fee discounts. So you can actually run, uh, they'll tell you on Amazon if your pricing is competitive with different prices or not. The orders is, um, so if you got FBA orders or you got regular orders, uh, if somebody wants to return uh, Amazon and has an automatic return, a 30 day policy, I think it's a 90 day policy, excuse me. Uh, if somebody's not satisfied, you must return it. And that's what the safety claims are, are if it's a product that's like a battery-operated product and it, it failed or something like that. Advertising. You can actually advertise and run advertisements and deals to your store. Say, like, you have 10% off of your entire store. Stores is if you have two or three different stores. Fulfillment programs, that's FBA. Performance, that's another thing. And chargeback claims. You want to keep everything under a certain percentage um, in order to sell on Amazon. You get too much stuff, they'll suspend you. And if you get too many like copyright claims, then you will get um, rejected and you won't be able to sell on Amazon. Uh, the, the, remember I was telling you that it has a university, and this is what these guys are selling. They're selling you this actually word, almost... Some, most of them are word for word selling you the uh, Seller University. You can actually go into Seller University. So I know you see the guys that tell you how to create a brand and and things on on their on their sales pages and these uh, webinars. Uh, we can actually show you how to create a brand on here. Actually, Amazon will show you that if you have your own brand, and it's very simple, guys build your own brand you can actually and I'll do that in the next video we'll we'll search places like Alibaba and different stuff where you can get it from directly from suppliers and actually there's US suppliers that actually will help you um build your own brand or you can just uh, leverage their brand already but in order for you to do that you do have to have a LLC and a sales license uh and that's will be coming up in some upcoming videos Amazon also has a app on the uh, App Store or uh, either the app, one of the App Stores, either um, the Play Store, or either Google, uh, Apple Apps, or and it's called. Uh, let me look. I gotta actually look, guys. Uh, it's it's called Sale. Uh, sorry. It's called Amazon Stellar, and then I have a ticket with the Amazon logo on there. And what that app actually does, if you go inside that app, you can actually go into uh, stores, maybe the clearance racks and stores, and you can actually, it has a scanner on there, and then a scan, and it'll show you the actual product on Amazon, how much it'll cost for you to ship it in, and the Amazon feeds, and what's your, what's your profit. And if you can do something like that, you can really, that's how I really started. I, I started uh, what they call retail arbitrage. And what I was doing was going to yard sales. Go, yeah, going to yard sales, going to clearance racks, um, buying stuff off Craigslist and, and sending it into Amazon. And I, I made a pretty decent profit. And that's, and that's for you guys that don't have a lot of money. Uh, I know you hear Gary V talking about uh, garage sale flipping, and that's a good way to do it. You just send it right on in the Amazon, okay? Um, so say you, let's see, okay, so let's say you want to send something in. Let's let's go here. Uh, so if you wanted to add a product. You can actually add a product here. 
So you can actually type in a product or with the scanner with that app, that app will actually show you inside your manage FBA inventory. So you'll go there, you can actually scan that. And you can see, and it'll pull it up from here. And then all these are inactive because I made it all inactive because of the uh, coronavirus stuff. Because they made it, uh, they're not shipping anything besides uh, essential supplies right now from Amazon. But as you can see right here, you'll see the uh, actual price. You'll see when it's created, uh, the price. Then you see what Amazon price is, and then you'll see if you get a profit or not. So this is about a two two and two dollar fifty dollar profit, and a lot of these uh ones like this is going to be a when you're shooting in the bucket there. You're gonna uh find some of these might not be uh feasible for you to get, and this is when I first like like you see 2016. Well, I actually started in 2015, so I didn't know the actual ropes ropes of it, and so I was just going in scanning stuff that was uh, not highly profitable. But there is ways to do this now, where you can go into retail arbitrage and find great products and stuff where you can scan and make a lot of money. And most of those things you're gonna find on Craigslist or uh, garage sales if they're in great shape. Okay. Uh, orders. So manage orders, orders reports, manage returns. Let's get into uh manage orders. So let's see. Uh, ship. Okay. So we'll we'll show that. Okay. So they got vid video tutorials too. So guys, if you you really, really, I can't tell you in depth right now because I got my store closed. I can't show you this stuff. But they do have video tutorials. Before you would start buying these guys' uh, classes and stuff, you can actually go through a seller's university, and they will show you how to do everything step by step by step by step. Now, what these guys are trying to sell you is... um. A cheap, uh, a, a cheaper way or a cheat code, and there's really no cheat code to selling on Amazon. Uh, a lot of these guys are doing uh, retail drop shipping, where they go to add products from Walmart, and then when somebody orders it from Walmart or any other store, there they'll uh, actually order it from Walmart and send send it to send it to the client from Walmart. Uh, they're starting to crack down on that a lot. I know Walmart is starting to crack down a lot, uh, but they 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 sell you different tricks of the trade, like buying gift cards, and if you see people trying to sell gift cards, buying gift cards, that's so Walmart or these other affiliates won't trace it and trace it back to your bank accounts. Because once you start sending to different addresses, because I've done this myself, so that's why I want to warn you. Once you start sending it to, from different addresses. Walmart will cut and, and close your account and you won't be able to order it from it. So you have to keep ordering, making different accounts for Walmart and then eventually they'll catch up with your bank account. Um, or you got to get a VPN and all that stuff to hide where you're from. And that's just not, you just want to, Amazon is such a great fulfillment thing. You don't want to get suspended on here um, right now because it's very hard to get back on. I've never been suspended. I never had performance issues uh, because I, I once I found out that drop shipping retail is really really bad bad now, especially since 2019. They're really cutting down on uh, retail drop shipping. You um you don't want to get into that, guys. Again, they got video tutorials to everything that you need. Uh, performances apps. If you have an app business to business, if you have a business and you have like products, you can sell to another business via Amazon. So guys, before you start buying courses, uh, this is just the first the first video I'm going to actually do on this. So before you start buying these two ten two two to ten thousand dollar courses, 
uh, let's let's try to figure this out ourselves and I'll show you how to actually start selling on Amazon because uh, I've, I've made a pretty decent penny on it now I haven't made some of these claims like everybody's claiming that you can make a hundred thousand if you see those guys have a hundred or three hundred thousand dollars on there uh, what's the percentage of them actually uh, getting from Amazon I mean because if it's between five and three percent are you gonna really really sell over three hundred some thousand dollars worth of product just to gain three or five to ten percent on that I don't think that's a feasible way because I don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, and another thing with Amazon is you get paid every two weeks. Um, so if you don't have the money for those products or you don't have those products on hand, and that's why they tell you, oh, you need $10,000 or something like that. That's why you should want, you want to start with retail arbitrage and also online arbitrage or either Go to Alibaba, have them send them, have you get sent the products yourself, and then you send it to Amazon. That's a better feasible way. Or work with these uh, wholesalers, and we're going to actually go through that in our next video. Okay, click, like, subscribe below, and we'll see you next time.